huge crack, zero climbers. Maybe because it's south facing and it's pretty hot today and sunny. So yeah, it's not the best conditions. Or maybe because it is a Monday <laughs> and understandably the people have other stuff to do in the city. Um, anyway, I just thought, you know, you get the shoes out, you do a little bit of easy traversing at the lower part of the wall. You need just, you know, to get some easy moves in because I had two rest days in a row now, traveling and uh, checking out the city and stuff. So yeah, I did that. And of course it escalated a little quickly then because then you go a little bit up and you think, yeah, okay, this looks like nice terrain, looks like interesting uh, compact rock. Um, then you go a bit up and then you go a bit down again and you know, all of a sudden you're at the top of this rock and basically worrying how the hell am I gonna get down here again, you know? So, um, crazy stuff, man. My first, I think this is what you could really call a free solo experience. Um, because here there were some, you know, sequences where you really had to hold on to some holds, you know, it, it was not super easy all the way. I mean, it was. I have no idea about the grade, okay, if you're asking me about the grade of this thing. Um, I don't know. It's, I can only say it was very, very easy for me. And this is something that I could... It was so easy that I could see it from the ground, you know, that it would be easy all the way up. And a rule that I followed for myself was never do a move that you could not do in the other direction as well, you know. So this way I wanted to be sure that even if I could not get down on the other side or anything, I could climb it down again still. Although that would have been more dangerous than climbing it up because climbing down is always more difficult than climbing up. But anyway, yeah, um, fascinating, really fascinating. I mean, to it's, it's really interesting what kind of climbing style you um, apply once you're in a mode where there is zero tolerance for any mistake, you know. You, you, you really get really, really clean, especially with your feet, you know, the feet, the feet get really, really clean. And um, just like, you know, when you're teaching the young kids to climb and you tell them, try to, to never make any noise, you know, with your toes, when, you, when you're stepping footholds, don't make any noise. Try to be as silent as possible. Try to climb as silently as possible. And this is something that you kind of de develop automatically in a free solo mode because you want to be damn sure that you hit this foothold as well as possible, you know, as perfectly as possible because you definitely don't want to slip off that, you know. Um, yeah, really interesting, really interesting. And it's also fascinating to me how how smart the body is because the body knows after some time that there's something not right here you know there's something not right here you're after so many moves because the body kind of recognizes which movements you do with it I guess and after this many moves in the upwards direction and nowhere you know in the horizontal direction it kind of screams alert you know it starts to alerting starts alerting itself so to say because it thinks hey something's not right here we are we gotta be very high up already without any um, safe ground in between or something you know and then slowly you can feel the the heart the heart frequency creeping up a little bit you know heart frequency cre creeping up then you gotta I, that's what I did I, I focus on my breath you know just trying to um, bring yourself down and and keeping in mind that it's if you just do your thing nothing's gonna happen you know nothing's gonna happen because it's just so um, easy quote unquote you know to climb but anyway I don't even want to get too 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 deep into it because I feel <laughs> that the there's a bunch of people out there who could be triggered by this or I don't know um, although everybody's watching Alex Honnold free soloing you know without any problem but yeah that's Alex Honnold and he's he's the master you know he can do that of course um, 
yeah I don't even want to get too deep into it like actually I'm not even sure what I have to, what I'm gonna do with this footage you know I just wanted to get down the camera and film a little bit in case I would make it to the top and now that occurred so yeah um, did I enjoy it? did I like it? I'm afraid yes I liked it <laughs> because it's a different kind of thrill it's a completely different kind of thrill than um, you know climbing on rope with with belaying stuff and uh, it's it is a complete mind game of course it, it transfers all the challenge from the physical into the mental and that's how it feels um, you are a little bit afraid of course all the time you have to learn how to um, get rid of it I suppose although you will never 100% get rid of it but I mean here it's, it's kind of uh, predestinated or I don't know what the word is in, in English um, for free soloing because the, the rock is really compact it's really easy to and it's you know um, you can exclude a lot of uncontrollable factors like holds breaking out or slipping off or anything like that you know it's really compact and really um, although it's hot and a little bit greasy already because it's quite popular actually the area you can be pretty sure that you don't slip off here you know also I had the chalk bag with me and the chalk worked really well on this on this limestone anyway so yeah didn't think I would have my first free solo experience here in the Czech Republic beautiful place river going down there um, a hell lot of bikers you know hell lot of bikers but <laughs> zero climbers it's really amazing but yeah it's a Monday and now it's I don't know I think four in the afternoon or something so maybe some people are still coming waiting for the shade or anything like that we're gonna see so yeah um, that's pretty much it just wanted to to talk a little bit about this 